Luxembourg received a negative rating last week at the meeting of the Global Forum on Transparency and Exchange of Information for Tax Purposes. How do you explain that? We certainly regret the decision of the Global Forum, but at the same time we welcome this exercise, which in fact is a peer review by the Global Forum of analysing how the various member states of the Global Forum apply the international tax transparency standards. Now one has to see that there were two phases here. Phase one, which um, occurred in 2011, was an analysis by the Global Forum on the legal and regulatory framework put in place by the various member states. Luxembourg passed that test successfully. Phase two is quite different. Phase two analyzed the efficiency of the system put in place by the various laws. As we introduced exchange of information upon request only in 2009, we, in the meantime, learned a lot of things. We went through a learning process, and as this assessment covered the period 2009 to 2012, we now can draw a number of lessons which we can put into our laws to improve the system and therefore make our system more efficient. Our aim is clear. We want to be fully compliant with international standards on tax transparency. What is the overall strategy of the Luxembourg government towards transparency? Any government has at its goal to make sure that people pay their taxes. And Luxembourg does not believe that you can use cross-border activities to evade or fraud the tax authorities of your home country. We want to make sure that cross-border activities are possible and at the same time that there are no possibilities for tax fraud and tax evasion. That's why already in 2005, Luxembourg introduced for EU residents the withholding tax on interest income. In the meantime, we have decided quite a number of steps. For instance, in uh, 2009, we introduced um, information, exchange of information upon request in individual cases and changed quite a number of double tax treaties to introduce the newest standards of OECD in this context. We entered um, a few months ago into negotiations with the United States on FATCA uh, Model 1, making sure also that between our country and the United States all these new standards are being applied. Uh, Luxembourg also signed in the OECD the Mutual Assistance Convention, making sure that the international standard becomes part of Luxembourg uh, law. And uh, we introduced uh, a new law uh, to Parliament which uh, will uh, change the current system of bearer shares into a system of registration of bearer shares with the depository. So there are a number of steps that have already been undertaken to make sure that we fully comply with international standards on tax transparency. What will Luxembourg do to become compliant? According to the rules of the Global Forum, we will have uh, 12 months to propose additional measures to be fully compliant, but uh, I can tell you that uh, it won't take that long. Luxembourg is strongly committed to um, be compliant with all international standards, being an international financial services uh, sector. There are, a few num there are a number of things that uh, uh, Luxembourg will do. Uh, first of all, let me mention that um, we recently subscribed to a declaration with 36 other countries reconfirming our commitment to a global standard of automatic exchange of uh, information. We will consult with the Secretariat of the Global Forum on a draft bill on the registration of bear shares, which is currently pending before uh, the Luxembourg Parliament to see whether it's fully in line with uh, the international uh, standards. Uh, a draft bill is in the process of being uh, written on the uh, ratification of the OECD Mutual Assistance uh, Convention, and we are in the process of reassessing uh, the law that introduced, uh, automat introduced exchange of information on request um, in Luxembourg to make sure that it's in line with the newest evolution of the uh, OECD standard on exchange of information upon request. So a number of things that are in the process of being done and Luxembourg um, has one aim and that is to fully comply with the international standards on transparency as defined by the OECD. It is difficult to understand some of your positions. You say that you're committed to transparency and yet you still seem to be blocking in Brussels. Can you shed some light on that? These are difficult uh, technical issues 
and therefore sometimes all things are mixed, but there is one very clear strategy behind the position of Luxembourg. That is that we want to have the international standard, and the new international standard is automatic exchange of information. So what we will be doing in the EU is the following. As of 2015, as we have already announced, Luxembourg will apply automatic exchange of information on interest income of EU residents that they receive if they have an account in Luxembourg. At the same time, we will do within the Global Forum, within the OECD, we will contribute to shaping the rules of the International Standard of Automatic Exchange of Information. And within the EU, we are discussing not the goal on which we agree, but we are discussing the process on how to proceed in the future. As of 2015, Luxembourg will exactly apply the same rules on the same products of income than the other member states of the European Union. But the next step where we put some conditions is only the extension of the products falling under the EU Savings Directive. The question therefore is, do we do that only within the European Union or do we at the same time ask that that is also being done in the third countries, the neighbours of the European Union such as Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Monaco and others. Luxembourg believes that we should finish those negotiations and we strongly encourage the European Commission to accelerate those negotiations so that in the light of those negotiations we can take decision in the European Union. We all agree, including Luxembourg, that there should be a large scope. But we will say we will definitely apply that once those negotiations with the third countries, the neighbours of the European Union, have been conducted successfully by the European Commission. So the path is there, we are determined to apply automatic exchange of information, we are discussing about the process to come there and about the scope of products which we have to see in an interdependent world, not only within the European Union but on a, a broader geographical scale.